Alright guys, so this part of the video is actually being filmed like three days after I watched it. So as you can see, it's back dirty again. Now the reason why I did that is because I wanted to drive it. I put about 200 miles on it ever since I got it. And I wanted to uh, get you guys some like straight up, um, like my personal opinion about this thing. I know I pay a lot of money for it, but the reason why I'm making this video is, uh, first of all, I wanted to do a review for you. Uh, for whoever's watching, whoever's interested in buying one of these, um, whether it's worth it and uh, whether I think it's worth it or not, and um, just um, what I think about the whole jailbreak uh, name. So when these came out, uh, Dodge introduced it as a jailbreak because if you have like an iPhone, it's jailbroken, you could like do whatever you want to it. You could customize it to your liking, and that was really the background story to that. So uh, before we get started, um, the red eyes, you cannot order a red eye anymore. Um, they only come in Hellcats, Scat Packs, and then red eye jailbreak, which is this. Um, so they all start off as a regular Hellcat right over there. That starts off at 74.9, and then you pay for the red eye package. The red eye package, I believe before it was a 27T, like T like Tom. Now it's 27D. 27D is for the jailbreak. And then, uh, so this over here is about $9,600. Now, what you're paying for is the red eye setup. So you get the 220 uh, speedometer. You get the, uh, what is this? Sam Black Dodge tail light badge. Oh, I'll show you guys that in a second. It's just the lettering on the on the tail light is black and not chrome. Um, the Sam Black Charger deck lid badge, which is basically the, the SRT badge. Uh, you get the red eye fender badges with the red eye and the, the eye center. Um, you get the red eye grill badge, which is this over here. Although this one doesn't have the red eye in it, I always just add it just with some red paint. Makes it look a lot better. And then uh, you get obviously the 220, not the 220, you get the high performance engine controller, which is a PCM. And then you get the SRT power chiller, which I'll uh, explain here in a second once we go inside the car. So that's $9,600. Um, it's different. The difference is, I believe, almost $1,000 over the regular red eye which was the uh, 27t um so they make you pay about another thousand just so you could customize it with the jailbreak and um and just make make it how you want it right um now the way i built it is now as you can see this sticker is pretty high over a hundred thousand dollars um i included the navigation and travel group uh that includes the gps and five-year subscription of uh series xm although uh navigation isn't really used as much anymore because if you have um an android or an iphone and you have a usb you could uh connect it and it'll become um well basically become your maps on the touchscreen and i'll uh i'll explain that here in a second uh i paid 1995 for the harman kardon audio group which includes the sound system of um the harman kardon has 19 speakers and the amplifier and it sounds really good that's like the best sound system you could get on these um, I paid for the red seat belts, three ninety five. I paid for the uh, red seats, three ninety five. Now, see, this is different too because on the regular Hellcats and regular Red Eyes, you can't get red seats with red seat belts. So, I guess part of the jailbreak option, they allowed you to do that now. I paid for the suede headliner, which makes it look so much cleaner. I'll show you guys how that looks once we go inside of the car. Um, I paid a hundred dollars for the floor mats to match the seats, which I thought isn't right because before um they'll throw those in for free they don't charge you for that it's a hundred dollars so not really much to complain about um the power sunroof was two thousand uh you got to go with that man um the 300 got the panoramic but the chargers don't come with that they come with the regular sunroof so i had to throw that in there if you don't it just looks like a bald roof man so you have to have the sunroof to pop out um, now, this is the most I've ever paid for is uh, $3,500 to do the black hood, roof, trunk, and spoiler. Um, I kind of talked about where I think that was like a bad investment because I could have wrapped it for less than half that price. And um, if I got sick of the look, I could have removed the wrap. But I ended up doing it with the factory and they paint it. So this is paint, it's not wrap. And they paint the inside of the hood. 
as well as the outside. It looks so clean. And then you got the hood done. You got the roof. It's a really clean job. So the third party they take it to, they do an amazing job on this. Uh, you do the trunk and the spoiler. So the trunk is also done on the inside too. So I'm pretty satisfied with it. It was a lot of money, but the spec, you know, the way I built this car, I love it. It just looks amazing. Um, now moving on to the exhaust tips. I paid $100 to get the black exhaust tips. I paid $200 to get the uh, black Alcantara steering wheel with the red LED logo that lights up at night. Uh, now the wheels, the wheels are the most like most interesting part of this car. The $1,295 and these wheels you can only get on the drill brake. So we'll talk about that. Why, um, how you could tell if a drill brake is a drill brake from looking at it from the outside. And that's by looking at these wheels. So drill brakes only come with these style wheels. The regular red eyes come with a granite color. These are called uh, satin carbon wheels, I guess. Um, and then I got the carbon fiber accents, which is $599. And then, of course, they got to charge you for the gas guzzler tax, $2,100. And they charge you $1,595 to have it brought to the dealer, bring you, bringing you to a total of $100,345. And now, of course, that's before any taxes, plates, title, all that stuff. And which is cool, they allowed me to put my name on there, KLSRT. I will get this, uh, if you take it to FedEx, they charge you like um, like 5 or $6 and they laminate it for you. I've done it to all my previous uh, orders, so just keep some nice and clean. It's not a game, it's a red So uh, we'll talk about under the hood once I get done with the interior. But here are the satin carbon wheels. They look amazing, especially with the color of the car. The color of the car, I forgot to tell you guys, but it's um, triple nickel exterior paint. It's the same color as Billet Silver. They just changed the name of it. And I got the red interior and that's really about that. Um, now moving on to the inside. I'll show you guys the key first. Nope, that's not it. This is the key. And it doesn't say jailbreak on it. It just has the SRT with the red eye. So basically the red eye key. And I think they could have done a better job. Maybe just put jailbreak on there to represent the jailbreak. So we'll get inside of here. Start it up. Now that's another thing I'm not really complaining about. But if you ever seen the ad when they post it on their website, when you start it, the startup screen has the um, has a picture of a jailbreak that looks just like that. Um, this one just has a red eye. Uh, now the carbon fiber interior, this is what I'm talking about. You're paying for this and this over here. It looks really nice, looks really clean. If you don't do this, I think you get them regular silver, which doesn't look as satisfying. Uh, the Alcantara steering wheel, it's, uh, it feels amazing. I have the same wheel on my 300 and um, looks a lot better than the leather, the leather wrapped steering wheel. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but it's red and it lights up at night. You can get it in red or white. They give you an option to uh, to change that. Um, you get the leather dash with the door panels to match the white stitching. Um, I don't have a USB on me, but if you plug in the um, the USB to the center console, um, it'll pop up here and it say Apple CarPlay, and then you could really control your music, your your maps, your phone calls, everything through your UConnect. So. That's pretty cool. I think that came out like three years ago. Uh, the dash itself, um, just like the red eyes, goes up to 220. Um, you can't really see anything in here that says jailbreak. Now, the only part of the car that says jailbreak will be the dash right over there. Um, the regular Hellcats say SRT, the uh, red eyes say SRT, but the jailbreak say jailbreak. Now, the interior looks really clean with the red, um, red seats with the red seat belts. Uh, we got the Alcantara, well no, it's not Alcantara, it's suede headliner with the sunroof, power sunroof. This part of the shade isn't suede, just regular carpet, if that's what you want to call it. Uh, rear interior, just like any other Hellcat. 
Now, I'm trying to point out things in this video that, once again, if you're interested in uh, going to order one of these, whether this is like, wow, the jailbreak is such a difference, I'll have to get one of these, or wow, this jailbreak is just like any other Hellcat, and I think it's a waste of money. Um, so in the interior, I'm being straightforward with you guys. Uh, I know I paid a lot for this car, but I don't want to tell you something that's incorrect. The only thing on the interior that, that says or shows you that this is a jailbreak <clears throat> is that dash, right? Let me zoom into it right over there and it has a red eye thing to say it has a red eye motor um now another thing actually i forgot to mention this is the um the performance level the red eyes go up to 797 gel brakes go up to 807 and it has a super stock tune now the super stocks um, were only available in the challenger and they came with the 807 horsepower so basically i, I consider this like a super stock charger if that makes sense it has the the, the better tune has more horsepower and that's uh that's really about it now the power chiller the srt chiller that you're paying for with the red eyes is this over here so what happens is and this is available on the regular red eye too so this is not just like a jailbreak feature uh, if you hit chiller go to chiller right here so what it says so right now i got the ac on because it's freaking hot it's 77 degrees out what it's doing is it's stopping the cold air from coming inside of the car and it's, it's directing it to the supercharger. So um, if you guys know about performance, the cooler that the supercharger is, the more performance that you get out of it. And that's what it's doing. Now, if you cut it off, it'll go back to red and then you'll get cold air again. And that's uh, that's really about it. Uh, you got line lock. So that was another feature that was available on the regular red eyes. It's not a jailbreak thing. Launch control, chiller, shift light, and race cooldown. Now with race cooldown, if you set it on right over here i gotta close the hood or it won't work so if you hit this button you hit okay this light will turn on green and then when you shut off the car let's say you're you know at the track for a while you've been beating on it all night once you shut off the car the fans will kick on full blast for five minutes to cool down the engine and that's a pretty cool feature oh what else can i think about um i think i covered the whole interior I am still missing the two on the driver's side. The, uh, the dealership had to order me two new ones, um, and I'm not paying for that because I already did. And that's, uh, that's really it through the uh, instrument panel. Now, if I'm missing anything, I don't do a lot of car review, guys, so um, if I'm missing anything, let me know in the comments, and I'll try to answer those. Yeah, I mean, through this, the performance and all that is just regular. It's not nothing special about this. So let's shut it off. Um, even this doesn't say drill brake, it just says SRT. So on the interior so far, the only thing that tells you this is a drill brake is the badge on the instrument panel or the dash, and then the 807 horsepower on the U uh, on the U Connect or the touchscreen. Now we'll move on to the. Uh, I'll show you guys the back seats real quick. That red goes crazy. I am gonna tint the window soon, um, probably next week uh what else we got now the black exhaust tips i think i already showed you this um i wish they made them into five inch it'll look a lot cleaner than have that gap on both sides uh this is the the black lettering that i was talking about um on the regular hellcats and red eyes they are chrome i believe no the red eyes have these in black as well and that's uh that's about it on the outside now, once again, if you're looking at the outside of the car and you're trying to just, uh, if you're trying to tell whether it's a jailbreak or not, uh, you go by the wheels. I did keep the calipers in red because I wanted them to match the interior. With the jailbreaks, you could get the calipers in red, yellow, blue, uh, silver or gray, and what is all the color? And black. Damn, it would have looked pretty cool if I got them in silver. What do you guys think? Does the red look better or the silver? Uh, now, the outside, I, uh, I showed you guys this. When I first took it, when I first picked it up, um, on the 22s, the signal marker is the whole LED. The whole daytime running light turns into a side, or not side marker, into a signal marker. So as you can see, it's the whole thing. Before, it used to be just this over here. So this is a new thing for 2022. Um, now looking under the hood, nothing that says jailbreak. You got the same badge that says uh, SRT with a red eye. And that's uh, that's really it. That's everything that I could think of. We'll do a whole like another drive video of uh, test driving it and see if we could feel like any performance difference. I really want to get this to race a red eye. 
Um, I sold the gel, not the jailbreak. I sold the purple red eye too soon, so we didn't have enough time to do any racing videos. But um, that's really it for the outside, man. Um, now, my honest opinion on the jailbreak itself, um, and I'm not gonna lie to you, is just it's a regular, uh, it's a red eye. I mean, it's not, it's nothing crazy. Now, I know when they introduced when they introduced the jailbreak, they wanted you know people to go crazy with it and customize it how they want, but they didn't bring back a lot of the features that people wanted. Now, uh, I did take off the pink uh, bumper guard because that thing will scratch up your bumper if you keep it on. So, although it did look good though, the pink looked real nice with the uh, with the silver. It kind of matched it in a way. And now I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna take my camera. I'm gonna set it up on the tripod. We'll get some exhaust exhaust notes and some uh supercharger revs and that's uh that's really it so let me get set up real quick and we'll wrap up this video So that's gonna be it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it um i really want to get your opinion and your thoughts on this so make sure to let me know in the comment below um we will do a lot more videos with this i just gotta i got a couple things in mind that i want to get done first i'm gonna get the tints done um probably next week sometime get the air out of your face um and that's really it now my personal opinion about this like i said it's just uh it's a regular red eye um if you were out there trying to get a red eye you might as well pay the extra I think it's $995, so almost $1,000, so you could customize the small things, you know, get the jailbreak badge, get the red on red if you want that. You could get the hammerhead seats, which are like more of a white seat if you um, are interested in those. Um, so I think it's worth it in that aspect, but if you're uh, strictly out there trying to get something different that nobody, uh, you know, nobody else has, the jailbreak isn't uh, too crazy to talk about. So that's my opinion. Uh, let me know what you guys think down below. If you're new, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button. I'll see you back in the next one.